Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally going to review for you uh, the Ordinary line. I've been testing some of their products for about a month and a half now and I feel comfortable enough to give you my full opinion on the brand in general and what it's done for my skin. I chose these products based on my current concerns for my skin, which is dryness and dehydration, helping heal my current acne marks and dealing with the current acne I have on my skin. The third one is Prevent and Prolong. I am at the nice age of 26, so I do have a few dehydration lines that I wanna deal with. Also, I just wanna make sure that my skin stays healthy as long as possible to prevent any wrinkles. I forgot to add that actually another one of my concerns, it's actually the fourth concern, is the texture on my skin. I still have a little bit of indented marks back in my cystic acne days, so I was hoping some of these products would help heal those as well and get my skin back to where it used to be before I had those marks on my face. The brand The Ordinary is under an umbrella company called DCM, I believe called DCM, and the owner is named Brandon Trux. He used to be a chemist for Indeed Labs, and if you haven't heard about Indeed Labs, that was the very affordable skincare that originally came from the UK. So he was formulating for them, and after he left them, he waited a couple of years, and now he released this brand under his umbrella company, DCM. It is probably the most affordable skincare brand I have ever come across like it's stupidly affordable like the serums I purchased here are like between five dollars and ninety cents to twelve dollars max and I purchased uh, four serums and how I'm gonna actually introduce this to you is how I started my nighttime skincare and I'll clarify what I use for the morning and night as well so I got the lactic acid 10% with 2% hyaluronic acid the hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5 Niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%, and the azelaic acid suspension 10%. On their website, it does recommend to use about three serums max. I didn't want to go cr too crazy with buying so many serums, even though it is affordable. I just wanted to make sure I take it slow and use what's necessary. And what I like about all of these serums is that they're very multi purpose in what my concerns are and I will get into that later. As like a nighttime routine, the first thing I would do after I wash my face is go in with the lactic acid 10%. And the reason I picked the 10% is one, the 5% wasn't available, but also my skin's very used to acids. So the 10% I knew wasn't gonna be a problem on my skin. I usually use products with alpha hydroxy acids in a toner form and this is the first time I've been using it consistently in a serum form. This is the first time I've been using lactic acid in particular as opposed to glycolic acid. It's actually supposed to be a bit more gentler than glycolic acid and a humectant as well, meaning it's gonna help hold some moisture to your skin. This has been formulated with Tasmanian pepperberry to help reduce the irritation you might experience from an acid. That's why it's probably the most different in color out of all the serums in the line. So what I do instead of putting it on every night or every other night on, as drops on my face. Like that's how I started using it, but I found it way more effective to put a big glop of it, like a quarter sized amount and rub that all on my face, leave it on for about 10 minutes and then wash it off. So I'm wearing it like a mask. This was recommended to me by the monkeys of the store and I found that to be very effective. After I've used it, my skin doesn't look weak, it doesn't feel dry at all, and I noticed my face getting smoother. The scars, after using it for about a month and a half, it's definitely subsided quite a bit, like not 100%, but it's definitely helped, and I've noticed it really smooths out the roughness I experience on my skin as well. Like around my pore areas, it definitely smoothed it out, and the dehydration lines I was experiencing here and here has do, they don't look as prominent either. So I've been really liking this product. Um, I'm not even halfway done the bottle yet. If you are gonna use this every night, I would say use it in lighter amounts, but otherwise I've been using it like a mask a couple of times a week, even once a week, and it's been very useful for my scars and any other texture I've had on my skin. Obviously because this is quite a potent acid, because it is 10%, I have only been using it at nighttime. That's probably the only time you ever wanna use acids. Next is the Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. I'm just gonna tell you now, I didn't really like it that much. I would put it on my face and sure it felt nice upon application, 
But then after that, my face felt really dry afterwards. And I think I've been using hyaluronic acid wrong, to be honest. I think you're supposed to have something moisturizing to go on top right afterwards. I've just been applying all the other serums consecutively. And the problem is, is that hyaluronic acid, it binds to moisture. If you're not getting moisture from the air, and if I'm using this in the driest time of the year, which is winter, it's not going to collect any moisture or water from the air. It's going to collect it from my skin. So that's why I think it's been drying out my skin more than helping it. I did actually um, purchase the hyalamide, which has an extra two molecules. So just to explain, this has three types of molecules for hyaluronic acid and this has five. So I switched to this after a few weeks and gave this one to my boyfriend to use. I've noticed my face is slightly a bit softer and like more of a nourished feeling after I use it. Otherwise, I think I've been a little bit smarter with how I use this asset. Instead of using it as the first part of my skincare, after a toner essence, I will use this first thing and go in with a toner essence afterwards, like um, my Claire's Supple Preparation Facial Toner or my Belif Lotion or my Belif uh, Witch Hazel Herbal Extract Toner for dry skin. Have I noticed my face feel more moisturized? If anything, it's felt more comfortable. I would say with hyaluronic acid now that I know how to use it properly otherwise I haven't I don't think this is like a holy grail type of item I know a lot of people really like the hyalamide one I haven't really felt like it's been doing much and the hyaluronic acid I use mostly during the day and the nighttime I reserved it for my lactic acid azelaic acid or the niacinamide sometimes I would put hyaluronic acid on but not all the time it's mostly mornings that I used it next is the niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% at first this attracted me because of the zinc, but actually the star ingredient is obviously the niacinamide and I've never heard of that ingredient before, but after researching it, it's very beneficial to the skin. Just a short term of what niacinamide does, it helps with the overall immunity of your skin. It helps stimulate collagen, which is why it helps so much with dehydration lines and wrinkles. And the reason why this is in the blemish formula is because it controls sebum production. At first when I was using this, I thought it was kind of like in the moment type of thing. Like I noticed my pores would look a little bit smaller and within the first week and a half, I would say, I was pretty impressed with how it was controlling my breakouts because anything that was under the skin would kind of come to the surface. It wouldn't be as red in the area and it was ready to pop. But as the month went on, I noticed it's kind of stopped working. Like. I had breakouts today that I just popped and I still got the occasional cyst like I had one right up here and right up here and this did nothing to prevent that at all. After using it for a month and a half what I have noticed is that it was very very effective on my pores like I haven't seen my pores like this in like I can't even remember. It's very nice and smooth on my cheek area and my forehead and you're always going to have enlarged pores in that area if you do have oily skin, but when I thought that this wasn't really doing much, but I would continue using it just for the overall health of my skin, it was Nick, my boyfriend, who pointed out like, oh, your pores look a lot smaller, and I was like, really? Oh my god. So I inspected myself in the mirror, and I noticed they have decreased significantly in size. Like, I don't have to use a pore filling primer as much. Like I could just go in with whatever makeup I have, be it glowy or mattifying, and it's not going to sink into any of my pores. It's going to be nice and smooth. So that's probably like one of the biggest things I've noticed in terms of the changes in my skin from this product in particular. Because of its multi-purpose function with blemishes, anti-aging, and overall health of the skin, I wouldn't be surprised if this also contributed to the dehydration line I had on my forehead and in this area here. This paired off with the lactic acid I think is a great duo. People said they've experienced pilling with this. I have not at all experienced pilling with it. It's actually the azelaic acid that I've experienced pilling with. So this has been fine for me. I've been using it morning and night. I've been pretty liberal with it. Um, so the bottle is down to here right now, but this was $5.90. I think that's why I've been a little bit more liberal in its application otherwise it's not a big deal for me to repurchase it the last of the serums i purchased it is the azelaic acid suspension 10 percent azelaic acid is also a new ingredient to me so when i researched it it's supposed to help with brightening 
and the texture of your skin. I found this item to be just very on the spot for its function. Like I don't think it's done anything in the long term to benefit my skin. I've only noticed anything once I put it on. Immediately my face does brighten right away. It does seem to reduce the appearance of any texture I have on my skin. But it's also a mattifying type of serum because it's like in a it's like in a gel cream base. It's the only one that's not a water formula. And I have to say I don't like the mattifying part of it at all. It kind of defeats the purpose of all these other products which was to hydrate my skin in the first place. If I'm trying to tackle my dryness and dehydration, this kind of takes it all away. I was using this in the morning and in rotation at night with the lactic acid, but I kind of stopped using it after a month. Like in this video, I did use it to review it to show you how I apply it and everything and how it looks. but. I already feel my skin dried out a little bit and I don't think I'm going to repurchase this again. I will finish it up, but I don't think this is that necessary. I think you could just replace this with like a hydrating vitamin C serum and you're fine. So I've written down the overall quality of my skin, what I've noticed since using the Ordinary products. And by the way, these are the only serums I have used. And the only thing different outside of the ordinary was my cleanser, toner, and moisturizer. These are the only serums that I have been using because I wanted to see if, as affordable as these products are, if they actually work. I'm just reading off my phone right here. What I've noticed is that the texture of my face has improved. Like my indented scars, they are less prominent. Um, my skin actually doesn't feel as congested. I remember just around my jawline in general, it just felt very bumpy and filled with whiteheads all the time. But ever since using these products, and I would have to say it's another product as well, but I'm not going to mention it just yet, have um, been very effective in keeping that at bay. So I haven't been experiencing any of that since using these serums. My skin is way more even tone in these areas. Like I am wearing makeup right now, but even in the demo, I don't know if you noticed, my skin was very even, like it wasn't blotchy or red, like usually in this area here, it gets very dark and dry, but I haven't been experiencing that at all. My skin's not really feeling hydrated, especially because the air in my apartment is extremely dry, like like stupidly dry, but I will have to say my skin does feel soft. It doesn't feel rough or chapped like it used to before I started using these products. My breakouts haven't stopped. I still get the occasional cystic spot on my face and breakouts around my chin area. I wouldn't necessarily rely on these products with dealing with any current breakouts. I don't think this will do anything to help with your current breakouts to be honest, uh, except for the lactic acid. I think that's like the only thing that might help. Otherwise, I think you're better off just buying another spot treatment to help you with that. Otherwise, these products will improve the quality of your skin in general, and with that, it'll help prevent breakouts. My pores considerably smaller, like very small, especially in the areas around my cheeks and forehead. I didn't even ask how my skin looked. Usually, I go up to Nick and say, how's my face? But we were just sitting on the couch, and then he looked over at me, and he's like, your pores are a lot smaller, and I was like, oh. And he also said I look like I'm getting younger because of how the texture of my skin has improved, so yes. Also, another person who commented was my friend who I originally bought this with over a month ago, so when she saw me again, I asked her if she's noticed anything different, like significant since she last saw me, since I do have such problematic skin. And she does agree that my face does look overall smoother and healthier. My skin is not thinned out from any of these products, especially the lactic acid. It does not look weak at all. It actually looks very healthy and strong. Like I feel like these products have definitely been helping to contribute to the overall quality of my skin. It doesn't look weaker. It looks better. My makeup applies better. I don't even have to wear as much makeup as I used to and I don't have to use as many products as well. I have to say my two favorite ones that I will repurchase as of now is the lactic acid 10% and the niacinamide 10%. I think these both have made the biggest difference in my skin. The other products were kind of just meh. Alongside with the hyalamide, I did buy the alpha arbutin 2% plus hyaluronic acid. The reason I bought this is because it's supposed to help with hyperpigmentation and dark spots. That's probably like one of the things I haven't really noticed changing with the lactic acid or the niacinamide, I still had some hyperpigmentation marks on my face. I definitely recommend The Ordinary just because it's 
affordable. The four serums I originally purchased alone were less than $30. The Hyalamide is basically the most expensive thing that is $20. And the Alpha Arbutin I think was also $5.90, but I will definitely put the prices down below. And if you're wondering, it is cruelty free, it is vegan as well. And yeah, that's it for this review. I'm going to continue using them all to the end and only purchase the lactic acid and niacinamide as I previously said. I might try out other products as well because why not? It's very affordable. So. <laughs> If you did like this review, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, and I'll see you guys soon. Ciao. I can see clearly now that the rain is And by the way, I dyed my whole head blonde, and it's been two weeks, and the roots are growing in like mofos.